Okay, so we're here in Harrisonburg at the GM Network, uh, partnered with Pilot Flying J stations. Uh, currently, we're low on the battery, so we have 42 miles, and uh, we're going to charge to at least 80% because we need to get on the Shenandoah National Park Skyline Drive, and we're going to try to make it all the way from here in Luray, or close by in Luray, all the way down to Waynesboro. Okay, so... I'm here on the EVgo app and just match up the number here, 340. That's the number sticker on the charger, 340. We're on the right side here, so we'll tap right side. And we need to plug in first. Okay. And then we hit start charging. And I'm able to start your charging session. Oh, charger is preparing. Looks like it may be working this time. Sinking between charger and vehicle. Okay, this third time's a charm. Okay, I'm going to try just doing with what it says on the actual charger. So it says to plug it in, authorized payment. Okay, so let's try is there Apple Pay. Okay. Payment has been authorized. Connecting to your vehicle. See what the screen says now. Clicking cable safety. Oh, matching voltage. Sounds like things are clicking inside the unit. Okay. No, it's working. So it's charging. We're at 16%. We're getting 42, 52 kilowatts. 52 is the max that our Chevy Bolt can handle. So it should stay at 52 hopefully for a long time and we're going to get some breakfast here while we wait. Check in later. Alright, so about an hour later, we're at 83%, 210 miles. Should be enough to get us to the Luray entrance at the Blue Ridge, I'm sorry, the Skyline Drive, Shenandoah National Park, and driving all the way down to Waynesboro. So we'll see, we'll check in, see how it goes. Um, Right now we're at 18 kilowatts. It started at 52 kilowatts and then it gradually dropped down. So the charging curve isn't great uh, this time for this particular charger, but um, hopefully GM will continue to improve and uh, EVgo partnership as well. So we'll check in later. There's a total duration. Might be hard to read. 70 minutes, 41 kilowatt hours spent, so not bad, close things up, and get rolling. Okay, so we started on Skyline Drive at the Thornton Gap, uh, north of Harrisonburg, and it's 75 miles down to the exit where we're about to get off here at Rockfish Gap. So we, we drove 75 miles and we only used, um, let's see, we're coming in to the exit. We only used 19, that's right, I calculated it right, 19 miles of range on our car. So traveling 75 miles and only using 19 miles of fuel. Incredible. And you can see some crazy efficiency numbers here. That's only in the mountains is that possible. Going downhill, it regenerates so much energy that it's the only way we can get this efficient. And we didn't have to use our brakes hardly at all. All regenerative braking and um, 
not a problem for range. So if you're in an EV, traveling from those two uh, entrance points, Thornton Gap, Rockfish Gap, it's not a problem uh, if you have easily 150 miles on your range left. So, Okay, so yeah, by the way, once we got off the Skyline Drive exit at Waynesboro, we took 250 east going down in elevation toward Crozet, where we're going to Charles Peach Orchard. We gained three miles of range from where we started in Skyline Drive. So we started on Skyline Drive hours ago. Hours ago, 75 plus miles ago, with 165 miles of range. And now we have 168 miles, and it's about 80 miles later traveled. That's crazy efficiency. That's just stunning. So, I love it. Um, thanks for watching. We'll check in with you later.